Hey guys, it's your girl Vanessa here. Welcome back to another video. I'm super excited to bring to you guys today's recipe. It is an awesome hair of oil that can help you regrow hair in balding areas and essentially just help to minimize thinning, excess shedding and also help to thicken your hair. If you are interested, I definitely suggest that you watch and you watch till the end of the video so you get to see all of the ingredients and also steps on how to make this and also instructions on how to use it now before we get into the video i just want to say a huge thank you if you are a returning sub subscriber i really really appreciate support guys honestly really means a lot if you keep coming back to watch my videos now if you are watching and you're not yet subscribed and you like my content please please go ahead and hit the subscribe button so you can join the family i make lots of diy recipes for healthy high growth and maintenance so if this kind of content interests you please don't forget to join us and also click the notification bell so you know next time i post a new video now let's hop right into the video now to begin with we are going to need a grinder um so if you if you got one that's perfect if you don't don't worry guys you can use bay leaf powder instead of using the actual dry leaf and grind it yourself obviously i didn't have the powder but i do have a grinder and that's why i'm doing it this way now you want to put as much bay leaves as you've got in the grinder and essentially just grind it um, into like a powder essentially so as fine as you can possibly get it now when it comes to bay leaf it's really good because it helps to enrich the hair and it gently um, also helps to coax the scalp to regrow hair now you can use bay leaf into your regimen by infusing it with oils or you can even have like you know a spray um, which can also help to kind of stimulate hair growth in the areas where your hair seems to be thinning or perhaps balding so essentially after i grinded the bay leaf this is what it looks like this is the best that i could get it and that's perhaps because i didn't add too much of the bay leaf do you get what i mean but um if you've got like a smaller grinder it will probably give you a much finer um kind of texture to your bay leaf so pop that in a little bowl next we're gonna go in with some rosemary now rosemary has been shown for decades to help stimulate hair growth um, in balding areas and essentially just you know help to thicken the hair as well it does that by increasing the blood flow to the scalp area which essentially brings more nutrients and more opportunities for your hair to grow so i added just a little bit of that now i'm going in here with some olive oil but feel free to use avocado oil rapeseed oil or even grapeseed oil if that's all that you have available um, but because i will be doing the double boiler method for this i decided to use olive oil just because it's safer um, but obviously if you want to apply heat directly then feel free to use avocado oil or even um, rapeseed oil because it have like a higher um, a heat point I think that's what it's called um, so after adding the oil guys I realized the rosemary was not really sitting in the oil how I wanted it so I just decided to just you know remove it from the stem so that you know everything is actually in the oil so that it can properly infuse um, so but if you have like a bigger bowl if you're making like a huge quantity of oil then that shouldn't really be a problem you can do this with the stem so I just pop it on the stove and I'm just going to allow it to just infuse on its own notice that at the moment the rosemary have a really sort of bright green color um, so after it's sat around and inf infused for a little while you'll notice that that rosemary color is going to start to change from this bright green to like a darker green um, kind of color i'll show you guys in just a little bit so that's how you know that this is ready and also your oil will also take a slightly kind of greener color and yeah so that what that way you know is ready so just take it off the stove and just allow it to cool down and then we're going to go ahead and strain when we wake hear the birds and see the sun side by side our fears are done all the good times just begun We 
Now to strain, I'm using a wig cap, but feel free to use whatever you may have available. If you're working with a powder, I would definitely suggest you stick to the wig cap, guys. Um, just because of the fact that if you're using perhaps like a tea towel that has like bigger holes and you're using bay leaf powder, you are going to get the powder in this. Um, so I think wig caps are probably a bit better. And also because mine didn't quite grind, you know, to that kind of hide powdery kind of texture that's why it was a lot easier to strain so just pour it on there and then allow the oil to just drain on its own and that's kind of pretty much it before i sleep hear the crickets see the moon side by side and through and through no limit to what we can so next we're going to go in with some essential oils so i'm using rosemary essential oil here and tea tree essential oil so for the rosemary i added about 10 drops for this amount of oil and for the peppermint or oh sorry the tea tree essential oil um i actually don't know exactly how much i've added because the bottle doesn't drain really well but you can add as much as you think is needed really so i'll say about 10 drops would be fine for this amount of oil as well so you want to stir everything nicely and then um, we're going to go ahead and just pop it in um in a bottle so that you know it's easier to store and also use on our hair now i'm going to talk about how to use this it is pretty much really simple and you probably heard me say this a lot in previous videos but it's pretty much the same process so if you have balding areas as where your hair is thin or you're just looking to just grow your hair in general you can apply it directly to air that needs help and essentially don't forget to massage as well because that helps to improve the blood flow to the area which then helps to stimulate hair growth now you can also use this as a people treatment just before you shampoo your hair again to help Help with hair growth stimulation uh, or even as a sealant if you prefer it that way but that's pretty much the way to use it and also you can use as often as possible so two to three times a week will be absolutely fine so that brings me to the end of the video guys i hope you guys have enjoyed watching and if it did please go ahead and give the video a thumbs up i would really appreciate it and also subscribe to the channel if you're not already and i'll catch you in the next video bye